Pardon me? I'm sorry, what? It's like a really small number. Okay, so should I just write really small? Really small, so it's less than or equal to 0 0.05. Therefore, 68 is unusual. Unusually high. Okay. Next one. Would it be unusually low if we observe 30? Is 30 unusually low? So I want the probability R less than or equal to 30, which is binomial CDF NP30. What do we get? Really small, like less than 0.05? Yeah. Okay, so small number, less than or equal to 0 0.05, therefore 30 is unusually low. You sure, right? I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Grades on a chemistry test follow a normal distribution with mean 55 and standard deviation 11. Approximate the percentage of students having scores below 50. X is normal. Find the probability X is less than 50. How about norm CDF? Norm CDF minus infinity, comma, 50, comma, 55, comma, 11. What is the approximate 90th percentile for this distribution? 90th percentile, P90. Inverse norm, 0.9 comma mu comma sigma. Agreed? Yeah, what was the question? Find the 90th percentile. What is the 90th percentile for the grade distribution? For inverse norm, I thought we always had to use the lower percent. Didn't I? Lower meaning is left side. Okay, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans wants to know the mercury level of the bottom 20% of the fish. Okay, bottom 20. The appropriate percentile and mercury level for this lake is what? So they gave me some information here. It says that X is normal with mean of 0.25 and sigma equals 0.08. And they want to know the 20th percentile. How should I do this? Right. Inverse norm, 0.2 comma mu comma sigma. Seventeen people have been exposed to a particular disease. N is equal to seventeen. Each one independently has a forty percent chance of contracting the disease. Oops. P equals point four. A hospital has the capacity to handle ten cases of the disease. What is the probability that the hospital will have to deal with eleven or more people who have contracted the disease? R greater than or equal to eleven. How should I do this? Oh, you did the other one. Oh, 
Um, I know more CD. Minus then C D F. N P Perfect. Are you getting a sense of what this test was? Mm -hmm. um, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, there was a question on the test. It was like, um, you have to find the p value, but it was like an interval. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. Was it was an it was interval to find yeah, the p value? Yeah, interval p value. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Interval. That's because yeah, yeah. So let me make up a num a question. So n is equal to sixteen, and the t naught is equal to point nine, and estimate the p value. So. I'm going to go to my T table. My T naught is 0 0.9, right? Mm -hmm. And degrees of freedom is 15, right? Yeah. So let's go to 15 degrees of freedom and let's hunt for 0 0.9. So 0 0.9 falls between here and here. And so I just go up here like that. So the P value is between 0 0.1. Get it? 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. Thank you. And if you don't like that, you could have done, um, they have to tell you if it's right-sided or left-sided, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say it's right-sided. And I could have done TCDF, 0.9, comma, infinity, comma, 15 degrees of freedom. If it's left, then you want to change this to negative. So let's say T naught equals minus 0.9. And it's left sided. So this is the p value. So TCDF minus infinity minus 0 0.9, 15 degrees of freedom. Got it? Yeah. And if it's two sided and T naught is equal to 0 0.9. Then it's this plus that. So two times TCDF 0.9 comma infinity comma 15 degrees of freedom. The end. I have another question. You can ask me. I can multitask. Oh, okay. No, um, I, I was confused um, in the beginning part of the test when it asked you for like this um, significance level. Alpha. Oh, it's alpha. Significance level is another way of saying okay. alpha. Okay. Well, hope you hope you feel a little better. I'll scan these in. Please. Yeah, I will. Uh, the test, like you won't put that up a blackboard because people haven't taken it yet. I'll, I'll put this. I'll put, put I'll put this up. Okay. Right? So it, for everything I wrote what I was doing. P of four, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I put that up on Blackboard, then... You're going to take the test, right? Yeah, I understand. I just wanted to like, see what I did wrong and then um, practice all. But I'll just, I'll just study as much as I can. <laughs>